let's review the steps to set up a Consumer Connect web portal. When completing a loan application, you'll first receive an email for electronic consent. Click on the View Documents button, and you'll be prompted to go to the new Consumer Connect website. In order to access the account, you'll need an authorization code. This phone number is going to be based on the loan application that your loan originator took initially. You'll select to either text or receive the code via phone to this phone number. Enter the code once received and click Submit. Next, you'll be prompted to set up an account. You'll note there are several password requirements. Make sure that you meet all of these requirements in order to set up the account. Next, you'll click Continue. This will take you to your new Consumer Connect portal. You'll click to review the electronic consent. Agree to receive the documents electronically. And now you'll be able to receive all of your loan documents to e-sign. Once the documents have been issued, you'll receive a second email. Click on the link to access those documents. You'll be prompted to sign in using that password that you created in the previous step. If you've forgotten your password, you can always click on the forgot password link. You'll be directed back to the Consumer Connect portal where you can view all of the documentation. Again, you'll agree to accept those documents and you'll see that we have several different sections. The e-sign documents section, the review documents section for documents that do not require a signature, and then the print and sign documents section, which is where any wet signed documents will reside. So let's click to e-sign our documents. We'll click on next and then start the e-sign process. You'll click on the little tab to apply your e-signature. If you have not already, you'll be prompted to accept a signature style. You can change the style by selecting this section here. Adopt a signature and then click on each of the yellow tabs to apply your e-signature. If there are any documents that require a selection, you will also have to select um, one of the icons. So for this document, we have the notice of right to receive appraisal. We either want to receive the appraisal at least three days before closing, or you could waive that right. Make your selection and then apply your signature. This finish button will be grayed out until you have completed all of the signature requirements. Once you've completed all of the signature requirements, you can click on Finish. This completes the e-sign process. Your loan officer will be notified once the e-sign process has been completed. You can also click to review any documents that do not require a signature. And these documents will be available on your Consumer Connect portal throughout the life of the loan. 
you also can view any wet sign documents. So view the document that requires a wet or ink signature. You can print that out, apply your wet or ink signature, and then you have the ability to upload that document back into the loan portal. This completes the e-signing process.